Alright, what is going on? TG Hooks here and today I'm bringing you guys another review. I believe it's been like about two, maybe three weeks since the last review. Uh, but this package did take a little longer to come in than usual, um, at least from the sneakers app. But yeah, let's just get into this. So, as you guys can see, we do have a Jordan 1 box. And it is a little smaller box, so you know what that means, GS size. If you guys have been following our Instagram, which is linked down below, you guys would know what shoe this is. We have been copying a lot recently, or at least I have. Um, and we should have some reviews coming soon. Not to mention the cross box logo. If you guys haven't watched the video uh, on the live cop, go ahead and watch that. So, taking off... The top of the box um, and going on to the shoe it oh yeah okay so I took it out of the original packaging or the original cardboard box it comes in but you already know it's just a brown cardboard box that says just do it like steal me and uh, yeah but this shoe is honestly kind of fire I don't want to like rip up this paper um, but yeah as always we're just gonna get started with one shoe as you guys can see um, this shoe smells very good uh, it just smells like you know a new shoe whenever you get one Smells good, but um, yeah, the glue marks don't, eh, they're okay. They're not like, you know, too, too drastic or anything, but uh, let's just get started with the shoe. The main thing that you will notice about the shoe is the shininess it does have to it, which is the patent leather, which is basically the material that is most used on this shoe. The two colors that are on this shoe are black and gold, um, which as you guys can see, black is going all around onto the toe box and to the back um, of the shoe towards the wings logo, you know, basically everywhere. And the gold parts um, are on the swoosh and then on the back, um, as you guys can see. It looks pretty clean um, and yeah the wings lo logo is also in gold as you guys can see I'll probably also do some close-up shots so you know you guys can just see better and it won't be as awkward you know me trying to show you guys so yeah as I said this shoe is basically full patent leather um, which you know is known to be on the Jordan 11 and I mean I don't really know how to feel about it on a Jordan 1. It's okay, but you know, people are afraid they're gonna get these creased and it's gonna look terribly. I'm not sure how it does look creased and I haven't had patent leather Jordan 11s, so I'm not really sure how creased patent leather looks like. I have had one pair of Jordan 11s, but they weren't patent leather. Um, they were the platinum tints and I believe that was some kind of new buck. This shoe does feature a black nylon tongue, which does have the Nike Air in gold. The inner lining of the shoe is also in a black and it's that standard, uh, I don't really know, I think it's nylon. Uh, I'm not really sure what material that is, but it's just, you know, the standard material that's on the Jordan 1. This shoe does come with an extra pair of laces, which are gold. And, um, you know, I think it's a good choice because, of course, it does already have gold on it. And, I mean, it looks pretty nice. I think a lot of people do like this shoe because it's, you know, it looks like a classy um, shoe if you want to go out or, you know, if there's an event or something. And it looks pretty nice. But I feel like once you wear these and, like, crease them up, it's going to look kind of terrible. But whatever. The shoe does feature a black midsole and... And outsole um, here's the bottoms as you guys can see the shoe also does have some gold stitching on the midsole which I'll do a close-up of right now and I believe that stitching is to hold the midsole and the actual top of the shoe together uh, correct me if I'm wrong but I think that's what it is the rest of the stitching on the shoe is black um, I don't seem to see any more gold stitching other than the midsole and I feel like it makes it look good the gold would have made it pop a little bit more but you know I feel like it would look kind of bad because the patent leather is black so uh, yeah I think they did a good job with that. I'm not really sure the different types of patent leather there are on Jordan 1s or just in general, but this does seem to be like a standard, I guess. Um, and yeah, everything on the top is some patent leather. It does come with black laces already on the shoe, which are flat ones. And I think that's a good choice because, you know, rope laces on Jordan 1s, I don't think that's really how it goes. Getting onto the other shoe, which is the right shoe, it's completely the same. I don't see any difference um, except... Of course, this shoe doesn't have the lace uh, or the lace bag on them. Um, and yeah, the Wings logo is also in that uh, patent leather and I feel like it looks kind of good. This shoe does feature a almost full black insole um, except for the writing or text that does say Nike Air which is in gold. And it, it goes good because, you know, it, the main colors of this are black and gold. But it doesn't really matter because nobody's going to be looking at the insole of your shoes. So yeah. Overall, this is a clean shoe. I did hit on the sneakers app. Um, and I did try it on some foot size, but not, I didn't try too 
too hard because um, the resale wasn't looking too great but you know I did want to have a pair in hand to do a review and yeah I did already sell these so you know um, they're not gonna be available but you guys should have checked on our Instagram you should check uh, more often because I will be throwing steals and we do throw steals and yeah again I'm not sure how this patent leather will hold up over time but you know I'm not a pro or anything but I'm pretty sure it's gonna look kind of ugly but uh, yeah this is probably just like a special occasion shoe like if you're going to like a prom or something which you know might not be a bad idea I might take these to you know prom if we do have one but uh, yeah it's a pretty clean shoe overall as I've said a billion times and as I continue to say and that's basically it not much to the shoe it's just a black and gold shoe which is pretty clean and not a non foot because this is a GS size so that sucks but yeah, that's gonna be it for the video guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a like if you did like the video. Subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. If you don't, that's fine with me. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.